Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ben. Today I'm coming to you with another video. Today it's going to be a movie review of For the Love of Money. So, this movie is directed by Leslie Small. It's starring Carrie Hilson as Gigi, who's a woman who's living on her own with her daughter. And she's tied on money, she's very, very behind. And so she makes some decisions to get back into a past life to help her get money again and support her daughter. So, yeah. Anyways, this movie was kind of... Eh. Honestly, there were definitely some parts that I liked about it, but it wasn't the greatest. So good parts about the movie. The movie had some good color, and it had a good vibe, good music, and some of the sets... And some of the costumes and stuff were good, particularly in certain moments. Overall, the costumes and set and the cinematography was fine. The music was good. The thing is, the performances were kind of eh to not great. Carrie Hilson was honestly not that good. There were moments where she was good, but then there were moments where she wasn't. It was kind of up and down, and her character wasn't great to begin with. And I will say this, though. There were two performances slash characters that I did like. Pastor G, played by Cat Williams, he was good. And then Jason Mitchell's character, who is Gigi, Carrie Hilson's character's husband, I thought he was good as well. But other than that, the characters were kind of static and underdeveloped. And then that brings me to the writing. So the writing really wasn't good. It was kind of a mess. They really underdeveloped certain parts. And then it felt like there were plot holes in there. And then there were points where it felt like they didn't. it didn't follow along. And some stuff kind of contradict each other a little bit. And like... Okay, well, why is that that if this is this? And so they, it just had some, I would say it just had some issues in the storytelling. Anyway, so I'm going to go into my grade. So I'm going to give this movie a C minus because there were some good stuff about the movie. But as I said, there were also some elements that weren't the best, like the writing and the performances. So yeah. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Please like, comment what you thought of this video, comment what you thought of this movie, follow me on Letterboxd and Instagram, and subscribe. See you guys later.